Um, I'm just going to put it <coughs> on, not because I want to. Uh, I can help you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, uh, this is the third of the IU lunch talks that I'm really honored and privileged to have started um, as part of the uh, effort from the Independent Evaluation Unit to expose all of us, please come, to expose all of us to a diverse set of ideas and methodologies, especially as they relate to evaluation, but also evaluation research and thinking and vision. Um, in this context, I'm really pleased to have Professor Sukhwan Lee uh, amongst us uh, today. Uh, Professor Sukhwan Lee um, is the head of the Center for, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to get this wrong. International right. Development Evaluation. International yeah. Development Evaluation at Seoul National University. Um, at Seoul National University. And um, Professor Lee joined SNU in 2002 after getting his PhD um, at NYU in the United States at New York University. Um, and he became head of CDA um, in 2014, uh, right? And yeah. So basically, CDA looks at evaluating now Korean policies and programs, but is also interested in looking at international development programs and policies. And Professor Lee's background is in impact evaluation and experimental methods that makes him a really, that makes me extremely enthusiastic and excited to have him here amongst us. Um, before I hand over the mic to him, just a couple of notes. This session is recorded. We're trying this now for the second time and hoping that it will work. We tried it once before. We'll then want to put this on our website so that you can also share it with others. Um, and um, yeah, the way the afternoon will run is um, Professor Lee will speak for about 25 minutes. Um, and then we'll have um, a Q and A and discussion. And the idea is really to make this as active as is possible. He's speaking on a very exciting subject today, which is knowledge sharing platforms. And it's really exciting because for a lot of bilateral donors, actually, technical assistance has become the key way in which most bilateral um, assistance is being provided. Knowledge sharing platforms are a key way in which technical assistance is provided to countries. So really trying to understand what sorts of frameworks and methodologies might be developed and used to assess these and to evaluate these um, is really a new topic. Please come. Hi, Sam is really a new topic um, and something that we are excited and interested in knowing more about. So welcome to all of you and to Professor Lee, and over to you. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you very much for introducing uh, me. I, uh, as she introduced, I, uh, my name is Su Guan Lee, and I'm a professor at uh, Guizhou School of Public Administration in Seoul National University. And uh, the lady here, sitting here, Ms. Shin, is she's a doctor candidate. She's getting a doctor degree, hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this year. Um, There's a clicker. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah, if you understand, I will sit down and talk. <clears throat> um, before I um, uh, talk about the, the research that we conducted in the past uh, time, but I, I would just briefly introduce uh, our organization, SNU site. Um, uh, yeah, this is the model that we uh, created. We so uh, uh, at first we wanted to devote ourselves to uh, only in uh, in the field of, in the in, in, in the uh, theme of evaluation uh, in the field of international development and uh, especially in the. Uh, uh, experimental evaluation or evaluation, but um, but uh, uh, in order to respond to various demands from uh, our governments, we uh, conduct uh, other kinds of evaluation uh, than uh, 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 evaluations. Um, this is the list of uh, our uh, recent uh, uh, researches from uh, a government uh, project. So uh, today I will talk about the. Uh, KSP evaluation framework uh, development. This, uh, so as uh, Joe introduced, this is the 
uh, evaluation framework for uh, technical systems uh, type of uh, OD projects. And, uh, and, and then we uh, conducted uh, country evaluations and uh, we conducted evaluation of OD model. And uh, interestingly, we are now working on uh, heritage, cultural heritage restoration uh, projects uh, uh, in Laos. So we are uh, building and constructing monitoring system and evaluation system for uh, cultural heritage restoration uh, uh, project in, in Laos. Um, um, besides uh, evaluation researches, we do um, uh, various kinds of education, pre uh, education or training programs. So this is a uh, few, few pictures. Uh, this is a picture taken from Bhutan uh, in, in this summer. We visited Bhutan and uh, gave them a, a capacity building seminar for uh, evaluation. And we are still trying to build up a, a network with the, uh, various organizations and we uh, also uh, hold uh, academic events. So actually uh, we are holding an uh, international symposium in uh, this building in coming uh, December 8th. So if any of you have time, then uh, I would appreciate if you stop by. We are uh, uh, holding this symposium jointly with the Waseda University. Uh, international uh, and Asian study, which is called International and Asian Studies. Okay, so this is the uh, brief introduction of uh, our organization. Okay, <coughs> and uh, yeah, now I will talk about the, uh, the evaluation framework for uh, knowledge sharing programs. Okay, um, I think uh, some of you or, or um, all of you may know that uh, Korean government is, is, uh, has been operating a knowledge sharing program or KSP program uh, since year 2004. Um, as you may know, uh, Korea is the only country which was transformed from a uh, uh, recipient country to the one country, to developing country from, from developed country to developed country. So many developing countries wants to share our knowledge and our experience, how we uh, achieved such a you know uh, such a, a fast economic development in the past. So uh, there is a lot of you know demand from a recipient country to share our knowledge. So uh, in response to these those uh, 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 increasing demands uh, Korean uh, government created KSP program and then it uh, uh, since year 2004 uh, almost I think it this this number was uh, measured in few years ago so I think uh, by now maybe 700 or 800 uh, project has been conducted in with over uh, 40 countries so it's a quite big and quite popular uh, program so uh, it's a uh, it's a, basically it's a, a concert, consulting program it's, uh, uh, on, uh, on a specific you know, subject or specific sector. So based on, uh, based on the request from a recipient country, we provide um, a bilateral consulting to the government of uh, uh, recipient countries. So uh, this this is the biggest portion of case case the program bilateral case P, and there are some uh, uh, cases of uh, multilateral case P, So, uh, but uh, is uh, the number of these projects are not uh, not so uh, so great. So there uh, there are a few numbers of uh, multilateral case P, and uh, and modulate uh, modulation is is basically uh, accumulating uh, the knowledge about uh, about Korean development experience and just just uh, just accumulate and uh, make make as a uh, as a qualitative database so that uh, anybody who are interested uh, in uh, our uh, our experience can share uh, from the uh, modularization uh, uh, database so those are the uh, three uh, project pillars and uh, as I mentioned uh, this Bilateral KSP was the biggest portion and the, and the most important uh, project component. Uh, 
But as you can uh, as you can imagine, or as you may already experience it, um, this type of audit pro program is is a, is a, is a big challenge for evaluation uh, uh, because you know um, the 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 mainstream uh, evaluation framework for uh, impact uh, uh, evaluating impact is a counterfactual based framework, as you may already know. But it is uh, for these cases, it is you know, service is delivered on a whole national level, so it is impossible to, you know, find the uh, uh, valid counterfactual. Uh, and uh, uh, the other fact that makes uh, evaluation for this type of project is difficult is that it is in the service delivery is indirect. Uh, let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, Korean government. Is operating uh, operating uh, bilateral KST on uh, agri agricultural development in Cambodia. Let's say then we just provide knowledge and our experience of, about how we can uh, develop the agricultural industry in that country. But we do not actually provide service and any service about ag agricultural you know industry in that country. So we just provide. Uh, provide knowledge in the form of just one report. Uh, that's it. And whether or not they, uh, their agricultural industry is uh, really developed or there is any real change happen in the uh, agricultural industry in Cambodia, it's not, it's not, it's not guaranteed or it's not certain, you know. Because we just only deliver uh, Deliver the product of only one report. You know that's 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 the format of knowledge that we de deliver. And after uh, getting uh, those knowledge and after re receiving for Cambodian government after receiving those report and receiving those uh, knowledge, whether or not they utilize it for their uh, domestic policy is not is not our concern or it's not our under our control. You know. Domain, so uh, so the, the the difficult problem is whether we should we should uh, we should evaluate the success of the um, uh, success of the KSP project itself whether or not we successfully deliver our product of KSP uh, knowledge sharing, or we need to expand our you know you know scope of evaluation of to the you know whether there is was actual change in the you know. In the with their country or not. So that's the difficult problem. And if we decide to extend our scope of evaluation to the uh, actual change it happened in uh, this recipient country, then it is a really uh, difficult problem because the causal links between uh, KSP project and then real change in the uh, in, in recipient country's uh, policy area is so uh, uh, so weak and uncertain. And under the exposure of many environmental factors that can affect the you know, cause or fast passes from uh, KSP project to the you know, final policy change in in this country. So those are the you know main challenges in in evaluating uh, uh, technical assistance. <clears throat> so. Um, so when we were asked from Korean government to build up. Build up, uh, uh, build up, you know, a new evaluation framework for KSP project. We decide to, we decide to, uh, not to limit our scope of evaluation only within the, you know, the the, the range of uh, KSP project itself. But we need to extend our scope of evaluation to the, you know, uh, actual change happened in uh, domestic policy in in the recipient country. But we need to take account for. The uncertainty and many environmental or external factors that can affect the, you know, in achieving the policy success in recipient countries. That's our basic idea when we started our uh, in, in this project. And today, uh, there are many uh, different uh, themes and uh, components in our project, but I will only talk about methodology. Methodology here. So how we uh, build up methodology for. Uh, a knowledge sharing program. So, uh, in um, so as I as I as I as I uh, just uh, mentioned, 
uh, uh, we decide to uh, extend our scope of regulation to the you know uh, the 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 policy success in European country. But we need to take account for the uncertainty and many external factors uh, in our European country's policy environment. So how we did that? How we did that? We need to incorporate. We need to incorporate. Uh, empirical information, empirical information that has been accumulated from the, you know, uh, from the experience of uh, our, uh, when, I, when we conducted this uh, project, uh, uh, Korean government has conducted KSP project for over 10 years and has been doing over 1,600 projects. So we have the, you know, data data about the uh, 1600 projects and uh, we also uh, have uh, information whether or not the case, each case the project has been reflected in their policy, in respect countries policy making. Okay, so if we, uh, if uh, 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 the uh, the uh, KDI, KDI, KDI was the you know operating agency in uh, in Korea, and KDI followed the, each country for each project, whether or not uh, each case the project that has been conducted in the past was reflected in the you know real policy change in uh, respective country. So they accumulated accumulated those data, and with the, with this information, and we uh, merged all the information together. And we uh, analyze analyze what kinds of uh, environmental and external factors in respective countries affected affected policy reflection of our consultation, our KSP uh, consultation. What kind of uh, environment factors affected on whether or not our KSP consultation was uh, reflected as a real uh, policy change? So. That's the information that we can uh, that were available for us to use. So we uh, we uh, analyze those uh, information and integrated uh, the analytic results from the, those empirical results into the uh, into the uh, famous and uh, very well known uh, framework, which is uh, theory based evaluation. So we try to build on. Uh, almost ready-made uh, theory uh, evaluation framework for uh, we the, the our intention was our intention was we we wanted to build up an evaluation framework that uh, which can be used uh, instantly and uh, without any uh, expert knowledge for for those who ha doesn't have expert, expert knowledge about the evaluation they can uh, some some evaluation framework that can that for them to use instantly without uh, without with, with just minor modification. So uh, the so we uh, call that uh, evaluation framework as a half half ready made uh, evaluation framework. So we, if we uh, set up half ready made uh, evaluation framework, then they uh, and then uh, we provide guideline how to use them. Then each KSP staff by themselves. They can conduct evaluation uh, with without any uh, expert knowledge in, 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 in evaluation uh, subject. So that's that's the one of the uh, the the things that we did, and and also we did uh, we tried to uh, categorize uh, types of policy types of policy because uh, with. Uh, even though we were able to uh, analyze empirical information, the the uh, the, the the types of uh, external factors or environmental factors that affect the the the, the uh, policy success in the European country are not all the same for uh, for all different policy. So we try to uh, uh, typolog typolog uh, do the typology or categorize types of uh, policy into four different uh, category, four different types or four different category. So uh, I and we uh, try to set up uh, four different kinds of evaluation framework and we also 
uh, reflected four different kinds of uh, empirical information into four different uh, evolution frameworks. That's what we did. So that's the basic, uh, 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 the big picture that we uh, conduct, that we did. So I will uh, talk a little bit more in detail. So the first thing is uh, systemizing KSP project and building database. That's, uh, this is about how we incorporate empirical information about empirical information about the past uh, experience of uh, conducting KSP projects. So, <clears throat> so because um, because since I don't have much time, so I will not uh, go over all the details of it, but. We uh, we conduct this in, uh, empirical uh, empirical analysis uh, uh, in the sense of uh, conducting generalized evaluation evaluability assessment. So why it why it can be seen as a generalized evaluability assessment? Uh, maybe you can uh, uh, take a look at that slide. Or uh, if you have further questions, I can uh, I can talk uh, after the uh, session. So, and then, um, and then, as, as I mentioned, we try to uh, uh, categorize and typologize, uh, uh, conduct a typology of uh, KSP project into four different uh, types, and uh, the dimensions or standards that we uh, categorize uh, uh, different project types are two different uh, dimensions. One is uh, a dimension of complexity, and uh, another dimension is. Uh, dimension of uh, function. So, if the function of the policy is promotive, and deal at the at the at the other end, uh, 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 the function is regulative. So, if 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 a policy, the the policy topic that KSP project is consulting on is about promoting something like promoting agricultural development in the country, then there will be uh, not many degree of, not, not, not high degree of conflict involved in, 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 in policy area. So it will not be so difficult to, uh, to set up a law about uh, the, the, the policy and you know, uh, the, you know, settle down the you know, conflict between you know, many uh, uh, different interests apart. So those things are not, not happening in the promotive policy area. But in the regulative policy area, there is always a winner and losers. So there will be a conflict. There will need a, a high deep, uh, debate, you know, and then, and then it will take a longer time to, uh, to reflect their uh, case the advice in, uh, to the policy making. So that's the one dimension. And complexity. complexity Complexity, the complexity of prerequisite for the successful policy adoption of KSP consulting. So, if we consulted, uh, let's say, if we consulted PPP financial structure of the Cambodian uh, government, so we, if we we uh, provided uh, uh, advice, policy advice about the PPP financial system in Cambodia, whether uh, it is. But after after we finish our consultation, they cannot adopt our uh, advice uh, instantly because they need to, you know, uh, set up uh, financial system first, and they uh, need to set up organization, and they need to recruit, you know, capable uh, manpower, many many different kinds of organizational or you know, you know, technical or uh, resource uh, prerequisite will be. Uh, would be uh, demanded. So those kind of uh, prerequisites makes uh, make uh, policy adoption uh, uh, more difficult. So that's the uh, other dimension. So according to those two dimensions, uh, policy will be categorized into four different uh, types. So promotive and high complexity, promotive and low complexity, and uh, regulative and low. Uh, 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 low complexity and promotive and high complexity. This should be our age, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this should be our age. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, those are the, um, the, the, the examples of actual uh, examples of uh, uh, 
of the um, uh, each for the each type of uh, uh, policy areas. So cluster and industrialization in Turkey, uh, KSP project is a promotive and high complexity. Agro processing industry in in Cambodia. That uh, that uh, that was promotive and uh, and low complexity. So actually, we uh, try to apply and tested our evaluation framework uh, on this KSP project actually and it turned out to be successful because because of, of those low complexity and promotive like, nature of policy uh, area so uh, uh, okay okay and then um, as I um, as I mentioned as I mentioned um, there is a various uh, different types and numbers of contextual factors, environmental factors, external factors that can affect the the uh, the of adoption of policy in recipient countries. So we try to identify which factors are those you know factors with those influencing factors. So first, we uh, we uh, 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 surveyed uh, previous literature about the relationship between contextual factors and policy making and also we uh, uh, and then we included those those variables in the empirical database that I just mentioned and then uh, uh, these are the database that we uh, that we built up so uh, we uh, uh, merged merged external factors that we identified from previous policy making literature uh, and then we uh, merge data from various sources of various sources of um, data which are available on the internet or OECD database. And then we merge all the data uh, for 606 uh, case the projects. And then uh, dependent variable, de dependent variable is this one. This. Th if this is recorded as zero, then this case the project is not uh, not adopted in as a policy in the country. If this is uh, recorded as one, then this case the project was adopted as a real policy in the country. Okay, so okay, this is the this is the name of the case group, the project. Is, so it's sorry, it, it it is written in Korean. Sorry, Professor Lee, hmm? could you just explain as to how you uh, found out whether the policy, whether the KSP project had been adopted as a policy? Because that's your dependent variable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. So as I actually, uh, I want to mention it uh, before. Um, KDI, KDI people, KD was, KD, KDI was operating agency. KDI is a Korean is a development. big yeah, K, Korean Development uh, Institute. It's a big uh, research institute under Korean government. The uh, KDI people uh, made a phone call to every uh, country, and then they asked them KSP uh, partner whether or not those uh, KSP project was adopted as a real policy in new country, and they answered. So they made a phone call in person, by project by project, and they um, they uh, communicate uh, phone call and email, and then uh, yeah, it may not be may not be accurate, but. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only option that we uh, we could use. Okay, <coughs> so these are the value, uh, variables that is contained in the database, and then we uh, conducted. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, some, uh, this is, this is uh, broken. Okay, so uh, we try to uh, fit a, a, a logistic regression model with a model T to fit the probability of uh, policy adoption in recipient country. And we categorize, we take a uh, categorize contextual or external factors into three different types, three different types. One is uh, uh, country-specific country specific, uh, factors, and the other is uh, uh, project-specific factors, and uh, the other uh, and last one is policy specific factors. So we categorize uh, many numbers of external factors into three different uh, categories and uh, we try to uh, plug in the equation and then uh, 
finish the uh, logistic question. And then these are the results. And then after after, uh, after conducting this, uh, feeding this uh, uh, empirical equation and uh, obtaining uh, empirical information, we try to incorporate this empirical information into the you know, qualitative evaluation framework. So uh, uh, the, the magnitude of this number or, or magnitude of this uh, significance level was not actually accounted for uh, uh, by, uh, 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 by this number, but uh, we just uh, try to you know, general sense which factors are important and uh, which factors have the biggest uh, influence and then we try to that information qualitatively into the you know, theory uh, based evaluation framework. So these uh, so these are how we uh, obtain uh, empirical information from empirical analysis. And where are the project level? Which are the project level variables that you use? Project level variables. Uh, 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 actually, um, yeah, this uh, this is the this is the just the part of the um, part of the uh, uh, the analysis table. But there are many oh, uh, yeah. many there many are many them. many other uh, variables that are not shown in this table. But controls not are not in this table. Controls yeah, but project level. Yeah, yeah project level is, is is such as uh, whether or not the operate, uh, operating uh, agency is university or government agency. Or you know how many the uh, whether the the uh, principal um, program manager was you know program manager was uh, uh, academia or yeah. you know, those are not here yeah those are not, not like here but but those uh, very those are results controlled are, control in the analysis yeah. but not in the no table. that's not a control we we actually controlled it right okay uh, yeah. yeah okay okay so. <clears throat> so um, so those so we uh, try to elicit implications and uh, in this, uh, uh, from the uh, data input analysis, and we try to incorporate these as, uh, implications into the into the you know uh, evaluation framework. So how we uh, build up the evaluation framework? So let's say. Um, Okay, let me just uh, explain a little bit about the Lazy model. So we uh, we call this Lazy model as a extended Lazy model, extended Lazy model. So the, uh, from from uh, input activity, output, program objective, outcome. So on uh, up to this uh, this part, this is the, uh, called conventional Lazy model. So from uh, from program objective or input to all the way to the outcome. But we try to extend our logic model beyond the uh, project outcome. So project outcome is converted to uh, policy adoption through some some mechanism, some mechanism conversion method. But this mechanism can be very uh, complex and you know under the uh, under the exposure of many different factors. So this conversion mechanism is is exposed to, to the many different environmental factors. So, so uh, this uh, this uh, the 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 red color letters are the uh, uh, evaluation criteria that we tested. So, program effectiveness is, is tested by testing this arrow, and possibility of conversions. And comparable comparability of policy and policy effectiveness is a new evaluation criteria. Uh, after adding this, oh. sorry. Um, so what what is the, the outcome? Is it? Uh... Uh, outcome here. Outcome here is that okay. So we produce output. Produ out produced output is a, a KSP report. Outcome will be the whether the uh, the, the state where. Uh, our knowledge is transferred to the uh, the, the recipient country. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their their knowledge is their knowledge is improved. Yeah, that's the that's the state of the outcome. But beyond, we try to look at beyond the outcome, beyond the project outcome. So whether the project was really adapted in the country, because that's the final goal. And without that, uh, there, there will be no change in this 